some Cirque Soleil type stuff. Oh, this is not fun. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Empty Motor YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing some work on the Scion TC. As you can see here, it doesn't quite look right. If you're wondering what's going on, the hood's obviously missing and temporarily I have a convertible top. My friend Ruben came by the other day to take the panels to refinish, including the wing. So He's getting it, he's doing the prep work, repairing everything, he's gonna be painting everything. So this is all off, took a while to get the bolts of the uh sorry, the bolts out. And some of it was kind of stripped, so it took a it Ruben a little while to help get it out. So but thank you for coming by Ruben. Definitely do appreciate it. So when we took this off, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and clean all this up. It's pretty gross. And when I used to wash the car, the water would leak a little bit. And when we took out the roof panel, we kind of figured out why, because I couldn't see back here. It's missing this piece of uh, insulation, I guess. So I kind of have to figure out where to get some of this stuff and fix that. The hood itself is off. As, you, as I think you remember in earlier videos, I showed you how bad everything was cracked and uh, you know damaged. So he's going to go ahead and repair all that. I decided to use the same hood. And he says he's able to repair everything no problem without it, you know, recracking or anything. He's going to reinforce everything. So I'm really happy about that. The hood actually work, works really well with, you know, the style of the car. The rear wing, he's stripping all the rest of the gel coat off. So it's bare carbon and he's going to build, you know, re-prep and re-paint it. In terms of leaving it carbon, it'll be a gloss black instead because the carbon is a little bit beyond help. And to get it, it's cheaper to just buy another carbon wing, but I just wanted to paint it so it looks nice and clean with everything since there's no real exposed carbon on this car. So yeah, it's good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on cleaning this area up and you know, doing a little work around the car and doing all that. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button and uh, leave some comments down below if you like you know, what you've been seeing on the work being done on the car. Definitely do appreciate everybody you know, tuning in, watching the videos and, you know, dropping the likes and subscribe and the new, you know, subscribers. Thanks for, you know, subscribing and watching the content. Uh, I have a lot of stuff that's coming up in the near future with this car and other projects that are coming up. As you know, this year, it's uh, been a little bit of an interesting year. We we're slowly getting back to what we call our new normal. And as of right now, the SEMA show is going to happen later this year. So I do have a lot of cool projects that I'll be working on real soon that I'll share with all of you but in the meantime i want to get this car done and you know get it to where i'm happy with it you know can i go from there so go ahead and enjoy the video i'll get started so as you just saw i vacuumed all the nasty stuff that was all stuck in here from years of just sitting and driving and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this with quick detail to see if I can clean this up a little bit before I get the panel back from Ruben. It's gonna be about two or three weeks before he finishes it. So the car will be a convertible or open top in the meantime. In the upcoming videos, I plan on figuring out what's wrong with the stereo system and finishing up all the little things. Outside that, this car is pretty close to being done. I'm really excited about it. Um, I just have to get the tuning done. I have the AM FIC, the wire harness and all that for the car already. All I need to do, all I'm waiting for is the, for the injectors to come in and kind of just go from there and get that all plugged in and installed. Do some maintenance on the, uh, you know, fluid. So you need to swap the uh, transmission fluid, flush the coolant. And then from there, whenever my tuner is ready, get that done, get this car dialed in and it's done. So really excited, getting so close. You guys have no idea. See how nasty this is. Let's go ahead and spray quick detail and see how much nasty stuff comes out of here. Dirty 
decent rag, or decent rag. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty filthy. So not too bad on at least cleaning it up just a, just a tad, just to make it look a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and go ahead and uh, follow along. Now that I finished the roof area on the TC, it's all clean up as good as it can be. I'm not trying to do like, you know, the most detailed job. There's overspraying stuff in those areas from, you know, how the body shop painted this, but that's fine. Not a big deal. It's all covered anyways. Uh, I did open the exterior fuse box to try to figure out, you know, see what I need to do to get the stereo system up and running on this car. That's one of the things that's been bugging me. I pulled the fuse puller, so I have that. In here, it's just mainly all the controls for the engine, so it has nothing to do with the radio. I checked the main fuse for the audio. It is not broken or you know blown, so we're good there. And the radio should be turning on just with you know um, uh, with just the key in, but it doesn't. So my next step is to check the fuses underneath inside the interior. The only downside with this car is compared to a normal TC are these door bars from the roll cage. I can't just kneel and reach underneath because this cuts off a good foot of my reach and abil ability to just twist and lay on the uh, door sill. So I have to do a gymnastics maneuver where I'm gonna lay pretty much across here in some contorted way and try to make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to do that and not gonna get that on film because I, it's something I don't think anybody would wanna see or should see. But once I get in a position I could uh, go in, I'm gonna try to film if I have space. If I don't, I'm just gonna pull the fuse for the radio and kind of see from there and try to figure this out. Whew. Um, so I'm checking the fuses below. I got one or two done. No luck so far. I pretty much have to check all the fuses. Uh, there's no specific fuse that's labeled radio, so I just have to go through all the accessory fuses. There's like two or three underneath there to do it. I'm very grateful that this roof panel's off because if I had to contort myself with the roof panel still there to get to how I need to lay in here with the bucket seats and everything, I wouldn't be able to do it. So this is kind of nice. So pretty much for me to get in, which I'm not going to film, I have to sit on the center console, swing my legs up because I can't keep them bent and then kind of grab this bar like it's a monkey bar and slowly lower myself, grab this thing and slowly lower myself in. And once I'm in, it's very difficult to get back out. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and have to check all the fuses and do all that. I'm not gonna film myself doing that, it's pretty boring. Um, but outside of that, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully I find a blown fuse and that's all there is and replace that and everything works again. I'm really hoping that's it. I'll let you know in just a second. See, if I didn't have the roof out, this would be very difficult. I'm six feet tall and about 220 pounds. Um, if these were regular reclinables, no problem. But obviously there's a cage and bucket seats. So with the roof panel out, I can kind of set myself up a lot easier than without uh, or with the roof panel. So the way I got myself in the first time was like this. Some Cirque du Soleil type stuff. Oh, this is not fun. Check various fuses, nothing's blown. I don't know at this point. Um, checked all the fuses that would have to do anything with the radio. They're all perfectly fine. Double checked, triple checked, everything's fine. Not exactly sure, I probably have to start tracing wires back, something I'm not gonna do in this uh, with little to no light. But I haven't fired the TC up in a few months now, so I wanna just go ahead and fire it up, pull it back a little bit so I don't, you know, kill myself with all the fumes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ah, ow. the actual mileage on the car. So you can see in the background, the cars are back in the garage. I pulled this back again forward. I let the TC warm up. I let the fluid cycle up for a few minutes. The garage really smells right now. So I'm gonna just hang outside and let everything air out for a little bit. It's really hot in the garage. So in the process of trying to figure out what's wrong and why the radio doesn't turn on, I just realized that the entire center console does not turn on at all. I don't remember if it did or not, so the HVAC, the clock, everything there does not turn on. I did check the fuse that, you know, you know, it controls all that or, you know, the, the fuse for it, and it's not blown. So I'm kind of scratching my head right now. I might have to trace back some wiring and see what's going on. But this is one of those cases where, you know, I got the car this way, so I have to figure it out. I usually prefer to start with a stock car and put it together so I know exactly how everything was done. This car, not complaining, but I received the car this way and I've been, you know, restoring and making it better since. So we'll see how that goes. I'll save that for another day. It's getting pretty dark in here and the garage really smells from, you know, the exhaust of this car. I'm really excited to finish the car in general, you know, do the tune-up for it, uh, change the fluids, the, you know, oil, coolant, and transmission fluid, put the new injectors in, do the tune, and when Ruben gets back, put the hood, roof, and trunk back, I'm, uh, the, sorry, the wing, 
and you know pretty much have this car dot wrapped up and done and try to figure out this uh, stereo situation kind of scratching my head but I'll do a little bit more research and see if there's anything else that I might have missed can't think of anything at the moment so you know got to sit there and ponder on it for a little bit I kind of like this look no roof no hood kind of neat well, anyways thanks again for tuning in definitely do appreciate everybody for their you know comments on all the videos and everything going on and see what they like what they don't like and what they want to see and yeah thanks for uh, tuning in appreciate it till then you guys take care